Hi you guys, I'm at my computer today and I will be showing you how to extend a background in your photo in Photoshop. Why you might need it? Well, let's say you took a picture, then you looked at it and you realized that you cropped it too tight and you might need to extend it a little bit. Or let's say that the background in your actual scene was too short and you need to extend it in post-production as well. So let's get started. First of all, I would like to say thank you to one of my VIP students from New Zealand, whose name is Mark Watson, for providing this beautiful image. I really like it. I think the scenery is gorgeous. The composition is interesting. Posing is fun too. The only thing that bothers me, I think it's a little bit off balance because there is a lot of space on our right, right here. And there is almost no space on our left. And I think this image could benefit from some space on the left. In this video, I would like to show you how to extend your background. And this method will depend on the image. The simpler the background is, the more effective this method will be. But this background doesn't seem to be too complicated and we will give it a try. First of all, you will need to uh, use your crop tool. And crop tool is right here or it's letter C on your keyboard. Knowing those shortcuts uh, with your keyboard can really speed up your Photoshop work. And if you don't, don't remember them, you forget them, you can al always click on the tool and the shortcut is right here. So we choose our crop tool or click letter C. And as you can see, the frame around the image appeared. All we have to do is just drag this frame out with our mouse to the point we want the background to be extended. And if we are happy, we just double click. And this way we got background extended. But of course, we just got a blank right here. If we are standing in the background, it's just going to pick the uh, background color from this palette. Now we will be using a tool which is called rectangular marquee tool. And it's right here or it's letter M on your keyboard. And this tool will help us to make a selection. And we will make a selection of this extended area right here. And then we will go to Edit, Fill, and then Content Aware Fill. And the other settings we just leave it default. Mode at Normal and Opacity at 100. And click OK. Ta-da! And as you can see, Content Aware Fill did a pretty good job on extending uh, the background, mountains, grass, sky. But the only thing is, it added one extra person. So we will have to remove this guy from here. Sorry, but we will have to remove this guy from here. And we could do it... With maybe it was the same method as we did before using um, this rectangular marquee tool. But usually um, it's more effective if you choose smaller area to fill in. This, this is why I would like to show you another tool, which is Lasso tool, which is letter L on your keyboard. And with Lasso tool, you can make a little bit more precise selection. All you have to do is just draw around the area. As you can see, I draw around the guy. And then we go again to Edit, Fill, and then Content Aware Fill. And click OK. And as you can see, we it did a pretty good job. The only thing about this is that you might get some imperfections. Like for example, in this image, when I zoom in, and for those of you who are new to Photoshop, to zoom in and out, you can just click Command plus or Command minus on your keyboard. 
and then you can just grab the hand or there is also zoom tool right here and then you grab the hand and as you can see and you can drag image in and out or you can also use those bars I'm actually using a tablet a Wacom tablet which has a pen and actually what is good about the my pen when I click uh, the button on the pen it uh, my cursor automatically turns into the hand and I can just move the picture around without even choosing this uh, hand tool and as you can see right here we have some repetition going on with those poles they're all the same obviously what Photoshop did it just uh, took some parts of this uh, background and just cloned them into this section which we extended so it probably took this part of the image and just cloned it a few times so this makes it obvious that you extended the back the background but we can actually easily remove those to make it more realistic and to do so there is few different methods but one which is really effective if nothing else works this one will work it's a little bit more work than other tools but this one and I don't know if you guys watched my video about removing things from the picture in this video I'm showing more tools how to remove things from the photo but in this case I will be just using a clone stamp tool which is letter S and I will be sampling some parts part of the mountain and to do so I just click my option key and on the PC I think it's alt key oh I don't know why it's what did I do it's zoomed out I need to go back and I click my option key and I sample from this part of the mountain and then I paint over this repetition area and I'm just showing you guys this really really quick but you got the idea and we can even paint like over this part and maybe you can just keep on sampling from different areas depending what you want to clone and as you can see this makes it already more realistic we don't have this repetition right there let's see if all other parts as you can see you can see like a line here where the stitching was happening you can also deal with it with this tool you just kind of paint it over maybe as you can see this little thing was cloned out yeah I think it looks pretty good now just go kind of over some parts usually when you do the stitching you have to check uh, you know the this line between this transition between old picture and this new area that's where you can have some problems so it looks pretty good so what do you think I think now this picture looks better it's more balanced I hope you learned something new today I hope this tutorial is useful for you and it's easy to follow and enjoy I see you next time. Bye-bye.